OpenAI just launched ChatGPT Enterprise today. It looks like they're trying to silence some of their loudest critics. They also might be overinflating some things just a hair. So what do we need to know, Gavin? Basically, what they're saying is they have a version of ChatGPT that's going to be useful to businesses at large. What's cool about this is you're going to have unlimited access to GPT-4. You're also going to have much faster access. And the thing I think people out there need to realize is that, yeah, if you don't run a big business, sure, you're probably not going to be using this per se. But businesses that you use, things like Canva, things like Quizlet are all doing this deal, which means your interactions with their AI products are going to get way faster. For those who are like, wait, I'm not a giant building with a million windows. I'm not a business. I'm an actual human being. The reason these announcements are so important is that a lot of OpenAI's critics were saying, hey, Remember, every piece of data you're putting into their machine becomes theirs. They can see it. They can train their models off of it. You can't trust it with financial information or medical data. And now you're getting end-to-end encrypted, secured access. So now you can start to trust open AI with your data. But will people begin to do that? Let's be honest. Of course they are. We're just so honestly down the road right now on whatever's easiest in this space, which is kind of scary, right? Like ultimately, if the product works and gives the people what they want, they're going to use it. I think that's the end all be all. But I think the bigger question to me is still going to be how many of these changes is open AI going to make before they drop another model? You know, we're going to see the headline chat GPT now supports dark mode yeah. and themes. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly Exactly right. I said at the top of this, Gavin, that they might be overinflating some things a little bit. In their big blog post where they announced ChatGPT Enterprise, they mentioned that they've seen teams adopt it and over, quote, 80% of Fortune 500 companies, which sounds like a massive sweeping adoption of ChatGPT. And then you look at the footnote and it says that this fact is completely based off of the domain that people used when they signed up, like their email address that they used. That is... That is a weird way to use it. I guess that if you're emailing from like, you know, petboys.com, maybe you're using it for your inventory or maybe you're using it to figure out a better way to ask a woman out for a date that night. Exactly. It might have nothing to do with your supply (laughs) chain. Exactly. (laughs) 